What's up guys, Om here from iTechEverything and looks like Apple secretly kind of added live text to Intel Macs. So you have to get it on any Intel Mac running macOS Monterey for free. So basically, if you don't know this, with macOS 12 Monterey, Apple introduced live text. But unfortunately, it is limited to work only with Apple Silicon Macs since Apple claims it requires the neural engine in order for it to work. But looks like it actually doesn't. Apple's own Siri shortcuts app has an extract text from image action which basically does the same job as live text. So I decided to spend some time and build a shortcut to add live text to Intel Macs and here's how smoothly it works. Not gonna lie, this is probably one of the best Siri shortcuts, if not the best Siri shortcut I've ever made. So in order to get this to work for yourself, head over to the description of this video and click this link. Then it'll open up in the Siri shortcuts app on your Mac. Just click add shortcut. I already have it, so I'm just gonna click cancel, but you should have it up and running. But that's not everything. You need to learn a couple of extra things to get to know how this works. So this shortcut will automatically be added to the quick actions menu of the shortcuts app. So just head over to there and click live text and you'll see this window open up. Just head over to the settings of the shortcut and you'll see that shift command 2 is the keyboard shortcut for this to activate. I'll just show you a demo of it in action. And when I click shift command 2, the cursor changes into this. Now I'll just select this and it should be copied to my clipboard. Now I'll just head over to the notes app and paste it here. As you can see, we have it. Now you can also change the keyboard shortcut yourself, but make sure that the keyboard shortcut you're choosing isn't being used by something else at the same time, otherwise it will not work. And instead of a keyboard shortcut, you can just add it to the menu bar, so it'll show up here. Now, I assume many of you are going to leave the video at this point, so make sure to subscribe and hit that like button before you do leave. But for the tech enthusiasts and the other people who are interested to know a little bit more about this can stay tuned. We are going to talk about how the shortcut works, the differences between live text and this, and why I think it is restricted to Apple Silicon and a couple other things. So let's begin. Alright, so let's come to how the shortcut works. So as you can see right here, we first take an interactive screenshot, which means that we can drag and select the part which we want to take a screenshot of. Then we extract text from the screenshot. Now the extract text from image action actually sends out text in multiple blocks of text, which we can't copy at the same time. So combining it with new lines essentially merges the multiple blocks of text into one block of text, which allows us to copy it all at once. And then we just copy the combined text. Now this is just a placeholder. Then this is actually optional, but it adds a cool touch to it. We first get URLs from this. And in case it finds a URL, it'll show up as link copied to clipboard. Otherwise it'll say selected text has been copied to clipboard. So yeah, that is pretty much it. It's quite basic, but at the same time, quite useful. And I'll also showcase how the notifications work. Let me just disable do not disturb. Then I'll click shift command two. Let's just select this. And we should get a notification. As you can see, we've got it and it's copied to the clipboard. Also, this shortcut works similarly to this app on the app store, which is Tech Sniper, which is an OCR app, but it is in fact paid. And I got a trial of this a couple of months ago, and that's also where I got the shift command to keyboard shortcut from. So yeah, no more paying for these apps. I'm essentially killing this app on the app store with the shortcut. So yeah. All right, so talking about differences between live text and this, this action extract text from image uses good old basic OCR which is optical character recognition and it actually can't recognize handwritten text which is one of the key points of live text. Live text is something Apple has engineered to work with handwriting from the ground up and it does a good job at it. And live text works directly in PDF files and other images and even on web pages. It essentially turns any text in an image or any format into selectable text live at that moment which is what the name suggests. 
So basically bringing us to our next point, which is why this requires the neural engine. Well, I think it is because it has to convert non-selectable text into selectable text as soon as it renders on your screen. And also it has to run multiple algorithms to understand handwriting as well, which I think justifies the need for the neural engine. So yeah, that's basically the difference and why it is restricted to Apple Silicon Max. But this also might be a bit more useful as compared to Apple's live text, depending on how you look at it. So Apple Silicon users can use it too. And you can also quickly grab any text from the teacher's presentation from Google Meet or Zoom. Live text doesn't let you do that. So yeah, that's an upside of this shortcut. So yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to share it with your friends who are on Intel and want live text without paying for OCR tools. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. See you in the next one. Till then, watch this video where I show you how to unlock your Mac using your iPhone or this one, which is tailored for you.